It's Professor Dave. Let's learn about John Tyler. He knows a lot about all kinds of stuff. Professor Dave explains. John Tyler became president after William Henry Harrison's death in April 1841, a mere month into the new administration. Tyler was the first vice president to ascend to the presidency upon the death of the incumbent president. He took the oath of office, moved into the White House, and assumed full presidential powers. This would serve as precedent for future successions and eventually become the 25th Amendment. Many of his detractors, who were numerous, referred to him as his accidency. A strict constructionist and states' rights advocate, Tyler had been a member of Jackson's Democrats before he left the party over Jackson's threat to use force to prevent South Carolina's secession over tariffs. Tyler joined the Whig Party, even though it advocated congressional supremacy, which was at odds with many of Tyler's own beliefs. As president, Tyler thought much of the Whig platform was unconstitutional, and he vetoed much of his party's legislation. Though not the first president to exercise his veto power, he was the first to see his veto overridden by Congress. Tyler attempted to bypass the Whig establishment, headed by Henry Clay, resulting in most of Tyler's cabinet resigning soon into his term. As he prepared to run for re-election, the Whigs expelled him from the party. After failing to gain the support of either Whigs or Democrats, he withdrew. In the last days of his term, Congress authorized Texas annexation, which was carried out by his successor, James Polk. When the American Civil War began in 1861, Tyler sided with the Confederacy and was elected to the Confederate House of Representatives shortly before his death. Historians generally hold his presidency in low esteem, and he is considered to have been one in a string of mediocrities that occupied the White House prior to the Civil War. Thanks for watching guys. Subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Support me on Patreon so I can keep making content. And as always, feel free to email me, ProfessorDaveExplains at gmail.com.